everyone, I am Fixer, and welcome to Test Drive, where we take a game out for a spin to get a first impression, and you let me know if you'd like to see more, and today, we're going to kick the tires on the Artful Escape. This is developed by Beethoven and Dinosaur, published by Annapurna Interactive. You can get it on Steam, it just released, $18. It is also on Game Pass, so if you have Game Pass, go ahead and grab it there. So, um, I've already played through some of the game, and it's going to be kind of hard to describe it without spoiling stuff, but this is kind of like, um, a, a psychedelic adventure into um, the music of some kind of young guitar prodigy. It has a wonderful visual style, it has amazing voice acting, and the music is pretty amazing. I think you guys are going to like it a lot. If you like the kind of games I play, this is right up our alley. I hope you enjoy. Let's jump in. It's very pretty. To strum a folk ballad about the toil of a miner's life, full chip. No? Yes? Oh, I thought I did good. Play a folk anthem about the green acreage of Calypso, Colorado. Oh, Jeff. So deep. I have failed once again. The shrewdest sci-fi guitar odyssey hold shift. Very convenient outcropping on this mountain here. Your look doesn't match your sound. It's so interesting how how popular this type of dialogue uh, cloud has become. Either the the text moving itself, and it's usually like a a thin condensed font. Um, that's that's not very um, what's the word I'm looking for? Crisp and clean. It's it's usually got a little jaggedy lines. I can't point to it. Anyways. With it either still or moving, or either the cloud itself moving. And it's becoming popular because it works so well, I think. Um, so my look doesn't match my sound, huh? Excuse me? You dress like a drifter, but you sound like a space opera. Your face is a space opera. Doing some blue oyster cult shit here, man. Complete tonal disconnect. Gives me anxiety. Oh, sorry. That that was I'm I'm usually much more serious. I play folk music. You look like you do. I mean, I'm trying to write for this show. I don't like the clicks between windows. Between cloud My pop first here. show. Uh-huh. But after a while it feels like I'm strumming backwards and my mind wanders away. Where to? I get choices, planets without names, the unfathomable depths of space, mid nebula suspended in a sunbeam. Got a reference or two here, guys. Um, I like the unfathomable depths of space. The unfathomable depths of space. You seem a little lost, kid, which is good. I find lost young men are in the business of irrational and dangerous decisions. Wouldn't you agree? Um, I am the danger diabolic. Huh? I was listening. Um, not sure about dangerous, but I am irrational. Not sure about dangerous, but I am irrational. Excellent. I need you to accompany me to the summit on Leaf Road Ridge. 
I'm going to commit a crime. Oh. Um. Who are you? Who are you? I'm Violetta. I can assure you there's nothing strange about me at all. Okay, um... What's the crime? The best kind. The mysterious kind. Yeah, why not? Okay. I'll do it. I knew you would. Why, because I'm irrational? What do you mean? Dope. Okay, so first off, can I... Um, can I get rid of that clicking noise? Um... Where would it be under? Probably not that, but I'm gonna turn it off anyways because I'm not using a controller. Uh, that doesn't look like I can get rid of it. I don't like it at all. Oh well. I can jump too! I like the style of this game. I dig it. It works. This guy's got some long strides here. What's going on here? Scenic lookout summit of Leaf Road Ridge. The summit. Kids come here to hang out. At least they used to. A lot of folks moving on from Calypso. Okay. Gotcha, game. Is this all, uh, side scrolling 2D? I, I've been, I've been trying to go back like a, oh, I can climb ledges here. Like a, a two and a half D type thing, but it doesn't look like to be the case. At least not in this part. It's very pretty. I like this game. I like it. Hello, I'm here. Wow, you've got you got you got a big set up here. Where what did the this hell? come from? For real. Johnson Vendetti's nephew, Francis Vendetti, have their party. Wait, what? The poor guy's not even the on the top line of his own thing. After oh my party God. for your show. Rami's gonna move the crowd up here after the liquor license scratches. Who's Rami? What's going on? The Skiffle band is playing. They're quite forceful with their opinions on Skiffle. Oh, uh, they really love Skiffle. Good for them. They're quite forceful with their opinions on Skiffle. Plug into the amp on stage. I'll patch you in. Is this your stuff? Of course not. Oh. What is going on? Who is this person? Oh yeah. Can I strum? Hold shift to play folk ballad. I want to go back to sci-fi opera. Stop. What do you mean? No Johnson Vendetti clone folk. Play the stuff from the lookout. Oh, no. Seriously? That's nonsense. Hey, when it comes to nonsense, I'm one of the greats. Play. Fair. Fair. No, not that one. Play again. First one. What do you mean? I'm rocking here. Bonanza. That's it. Oh, okay, Bonanza. What are you even doing over here? What are you taking? Nothing. Valves. What are you valves? Later. 
me later. Wait, is this Rami's stuff? You're stealing valves from Rami? Yeah, so? He killed a man in Boulder. Everyone says so. Punched him in the neck. I know. I'm Francis. Francis Vendetti. I know who you are, kid. I saw the flyers. There's a very tiny picture of you on it. I never signed off on the flyers. <laughs> you ever made it to the top? Been too scared to try. By the end of the game, I'll be on top, guys. I'll be on top! Wait, are they trying? Random squirrel. This seems dangerous. Whoa, it's beautiful. Yeah, you could really kill yourself from up here. <laughs> you shred pretty well for a folk singer. Um, I'm okay. We're modest. So you're standing in the shadows of Johnson Vendetti, huh? He's my uncle. That must suck. It ain't so bad. It's just that I guess folks think they know who I am where I should be going. Hmm. Have you considered becoming someone else entirely? How do you mean? Might tell you about it someday. I gotta scram. Stay weird, kid. Hey, will I see you around town? You know Lightman's in Calypso? In Calypso? There's no such place. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're not looking hard enough. All right, Lightman's in Calypso. Got it. Someone else entirely voice acting's quite good by the way i feel so far so good i dig and i love i love the camera work so far the side scrolling zooming in and then zooming out is very if Rami Smooth. finds out I was up here when his gear got stolen. And it felt good. Well, I liked it. I'd rather not think about it. I'm going to book you back to town and forget the whole thing. We're going to leave his gear? Oh. All right. Now, now I've got some oxen free vibes on this thing. I love how Johnson Venditti's picture is larger. His name's larger. It's pretty great. Oh my God, Lena Headey. She's excellent, by the way. I did not know she was in this. Or if I did, I forgot. Oh, maybe this is why the acting's pretty good. Mark Strong is fantastic. Okay, I'm excited now. Carl Withers, who also is fantastic. It's everywhere. It's literally everywhere. Wait, what's with that American flag? Did you see that? Interesting. <laughs> All right, yeah, so this game is obviously right up my alley. You've got a lot of, I don't know if it's obvious inspiration, but you get a lot of feels of Oxenfree and stuff like uh, Night in the Woods. Um, I got a lot of those kind of vibes so far in this game. Just with the whole attitude, with the, with the art style, with, um, I don't know. Everything meshes really well together. I'm, I'm digging it so far. You guys know me, you know this is right up my alley. Hello. Francis, you little bastard. Jesus, she's even clutching into a photo or album or something of this guy. Come to me, my love. What do you mean? Is this grandma? Goldie. 
You lose it? Oh, perhaps a bit. I have a ticket to your recital. It's got a lot of new material. Probably an album's worth. I think when you're beneath those lights, I might catch a glimpse of my old friend. <laughs> what do you mean? I feel insulted by this. Um, you'll believe it's 1955. You'll believe it's 1955. You look like him, you know. Your uncle. I know, Goldie. I really do. <laughs> okay, what's this? I think this place used to be a watchmaker. Undeniably haunted. Possible hub of underage drinking. I think the game looks fantastic. It's... Look at that. That looks so good. The little shops. It's just oozing. Oozing with... with immersion. Ah, uh, yeah. Man of the hour. Hey, Tao. Yo, I've never seen so many people in town. Yeah, it's horrible. You listen to that record? Yeah. I kind of loved it, actually. Now that surprises me. What with you being a, a serious folk musician? Damn straight. I'm, I'm dipping my toes into sci-fi space operas, though, so chill out on that. Uh, yeah, I want to know about Lightman's. You ever heard of Lightman's? Mmm. Junk sci-fi movie. What? It's not a movie. It's a place. <laughs> it ain't in this dead end. Uh, okay. Yeah. Can't be serious lately. Keep spacing out. You gotta let it happen, man. Play blues, play funk, blow minds. Yeah, sure. Let's see what I can do. All right. I'll catch you, you later, Tao. Of course, you, you've got the the um, fruits in the background. Uh, wait, they just look like a blob. Michelle's restaurant. Oh, the tickets are sold out. Oh my god, they're literally everywhere. This place is obnoxious for this this guy. Calypso is usually much quieter. It's quieter each summer, the old folks say. People are here for the anniversary of my uncle's album, Pines. It's kind of like a festival. Everyone's pretty excited. Apparently. And it's got the autumn colors. It looks so pretty. I like it a lot. The Johnson Vendetti Festival ends tomorrow night. Finale is at the Salty Seagull, where Johnson Vendetti's nephew will take the stage for the first time. That's me. Am I going to bomb it? I'm going to bomb it, aren't I? Are you avoiding me, son? Uh, no. No, Rami, no. Oh, okay. This uh, is I find you very intimidating. What am I doing, Francis? You... I have no idea. I'm smiling. That's it. And when I'm smiling, you know I don't mean nothing shady or untoward. Despite the gravity of the words I might be speaking. Why does he sound so serious? Right. We got a full house tomorrow night. My face is friggin' hurting. I'm smiling so much when I say... Don't screw it up. You will play songs exclusively from the personal repertoire of your uncle. Oh, God. Or you will misplace teeth. Well, then, I suppose we have an accord. And make sure you show your face at the after party, huh? Too funny. Reminds me of the story. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it because I know that there's, like, some Bob Dylan vibes here. Maybe a little bit of Buddy Holly vibes with these glasses. Um, back in the day, um, a very young uh, Buddy Holly um, went on Ed Sullivan, and Ed Sullivan um, wanted him to play a a later song because he thought something like "Oh Boy" was a little too much for his audience, a little too strong for his audience. So he told them. Uh, to play, I think it was that'll be the day they wanted him. Uh, he wanted him to play, and and he refused it. He's like, you know, we're we're playing. Oh boy. And um, they they gets up on stage and um, they they had quarrels about it, and so Ed Sullivan introduced 
Buddy Holly, and he mispronounced his name to kind of jab at him. Um, so they played Oh Boy Anyways. And near the beginning of the song, if you watch the video, you can see find it on YouTube. And it's it's kind of like I feel it's like an important moment in history, and, and at least in, in in rock and roll history, I mean. Um, at least in, in rock itself. Where they go to the the studio goes to turn down um, their their mic uh, for the, the guitar and whatnot. And so while he's singing, and then it's like, I don't know, maybe 20 seconds into the song, you can see him reach down to his guitar and crank it all the way up in order to counteract the them turning down um, the audio. Uh, kind of like um, an important moment in the birth of rock and roll, you know? The, the loud defiance right there on stage on Ed Sullivan. It's pretty cool. Um, if I remember, I'll put the link down below so you guys can see it. Anyways, let's, let's go back to playing the game. Cafe Cliché. Their pastries are in the shape of a villain's gnarled grin. What? What? I can go up? All right, we'll go up in a moment. Hello. You guys look jamming. Ooh, look who's come wandering by. Hey, start blowing trumpets, lads. It's Francis Vendetti. Goddamn straight it is. Fern, Lonnie, Angus. Your show is sold out, you know? Yeah, I saw the posters. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt her. I, was, I wasn't sure if you could interrupt people. Um. Anyways, now we know. Mm, there better be some skiffle in your show, Vendetti, for your sake. I'm just telling you, because I'm your pal. Skiffle? Like jazz with pots and pans? Watch your mouth, Vendetti. The Beatles had skiffle roots. It's coming back in a big way. Hotter than folk music tell you that for free. Thank you, guys. This 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 is feeling rather large, this map. Oh, there's a dog! Can we pet the dog? Hey, old fella. You can pet the dog. I swear to God, people just put that in games now. I have a dream where I swim up that waterfall. It's a sight, make no mistake. I love this place, but it's killing me. Why is it killing him? I love this place, but it's killing me. It's a sight, make no mistake. They need to they need to put in an option to get rid of those clicks. I'm not a fan. I have a dream where I swim up that waterfall. Okay. Guess we're going up whatever this thing is called. What are these things called? It'll take you up to another level like this. Not elevator, but like this angled weird thing. I mean, it's like an old school, I don't want to say escalator. It's an elevating escalator? I don't know. It's weird, whatever it is. What is this guy? What have you come as? Zombie Vendetti. I'm offended. That is in poor taste. I'm offended. He's dead. What are you guys looking at out there? Also, I just now noticed everyone has glasses. What is going on with that? Everyone's got glasses. Hey, you're Johnson Vendetti's kid. Damn straight. Nephew. Sure, whatever. I saw the flyers for his show, man. I probably won't check it out, though. Okay, whatever. Don't mean nothing nasty, honestly. I'm sure you're a good kid. But you've got no chance. Wow, why is everybody shitting on me? Of what? Johnson Vendetti was a folk mastermind. Once in a generation. And genius ain't hereditary, kid. Well, always nice to get the thoughts of an industry heavyweight. <laughs> Seller gads? Experts in disappearing completely. Grumb and sons and sons. Banking, loaning, and foreclosing. Plant and page. Exotic flora and books. Plant and page, of course. Um, 
Cassandra, you're leaving? Zeppelin. What happened? Intrigue, laser lights, shops disappearing in the night. I guess she says I won't put up with it. Who's got lasers? Don't mind all that. I'm leaving. Aren't you sad? Cassandra, I'm devastated. You're just the only shop I bother to steal from. Lies, lies. You can come visit me down the road in Donnybrook. Here, choose a book. From me to you. Sci-fi dribble. Just how you dig it. Okay. Oh, look at what we got here. Morbid psychedelia, a scientist poisons his town's water supply to appear to them as an alien being. Um, I guess H.P. Lovecraft, color out of space. Wings of Orion, a king disguises himself as a piece of overcast sky. Velochrome, using an illegal avatar, a mutant rises through the aristocracy of a cyber city. Do I get to, oh, there is a cursor in the game. Okay, it's a pick. Whoa. Well, aren't you gonna thank me? I'm sorry. I think I was having an epiphany. Well, savor it, my friend. What I wouldn't give for a good epiphany. Hey, you ever heard of a place called Lightman's? Francis, I don't think you want to be... <clears throat> Actually, no. Never mind. I've never heard of it. Now run along. Go practice. What's going on in this town? I'm intrigued, actually. Choose your own adventure. Oh my god. I love it. I would very much like to put this whole game on YouTube. My concern is the copyright issue. I don't know. I don't know what kind of problems I would run into. It makes me nervous. Oh. Um, hello? Francis Vendetti, the pleasure's all mine. Mayor Swartz here. How did you know? <laughs> I like to have my ear to the ground, my boy. Felt the vibrations. Ready for the big show? Uh, it, yeah, just rounding off the corners. Excellent, excellent, really. The town's counting on you, son. What with businesses closing up, low voter morale, mayoral corruption. Haven't you been the mayor for like 12 years? <laughs> and a series of unexplainable events that have no basis in fact whatsoever. What do you mean? You can put them right out of your head. Unexplainable events? I shouldn't speak about it over the phone. All I'm saying is this. Your show's important, Vendetti. There's a lot of folks out there counting on you. Wow. Okay. Don't cock it up. I feel like, um, I feel like I'm getting some magical realism vibes out of this game already. And it, it especially with, with the, I don't know, I don't, it's, I don't know, a lot of, a lot of, um, Kentucky Route Zero, Night in the Woods vibes. It's, I'm getting that feeling I never already. recognize anyone who eats here. Probably a hub for time travelers. Oh. Most likely. All right, let's go up another level. There are an awful lot of um, vines and whatnot in this place. <laughs> Through the looking glass. Everyone needs glasses. <laughs> this poster doesn't even have his face on it. It's literally, it's literally just the, the festival. Countdown, oh. Hey, Lucy. Uh, I'm supposed to tell everyone we got Johnson Vendetti's 20th anniversary release of Pines in stock. I've got a copy, Lucy. The folk masterpiece, the voice of an American generation, or whatever. 12 million copies sold. Uh, that's a lot of copies. Okay, yeah. Lucy, you got any records by people pretending to be someone else? I mean, sure. 
You got Captain Beefheart. Oh my god. Legendary Stardust Cowboy. I want to tell you guys a Captain Beefheart story. So this is this is when the internet was very young. I want to say like 96, 90s. I, I say internet, but maybe more like World Wide Web, you know. Um, 96, 97, I want to say maybe 98. I don't know, somewhere around there. And um, I was really into music at that time. I was I was coming of, of that age where I want to explore all these different musical options and, and discovering new genres and new new bands finding out that there's more beyond top 40 radio right and um i'm on the internet and i'm looking for people who are talking about their favorite albums and stuff i remember this is this is this is a pretty big memory for me so I'm, i found this site and i don't remember what the site was called and then it's all these people putting like their top 10 or top 20 records of all time or top 10 artists of all time and whatnot and i'm looking through this and like almost every single person listed Captain Beefheart as their top. And I never heard of it. Never heard of Captain Beefheart. There were some other bands there, but it was mostly these people were posting stuff that was was definitely not um, top 40 stuff, right? None of these bands you pretty much ever heard of. There, You may see a Black Sabbath in there or a Bob Dylan or um, Aretha Franklin in there, you know? But most of these bands were bands I'd never even heard of. And Captain Beefheart was like number one on like 90% of these lists. And I'm like, how is this possible? I've never even heard of Captain Beefheart. So, um, of course, um, I went out and purchased a, a Captain Beefheart disc. Um, this is, CDs weren't brand new, but you know, they, they weren't huge yet, I don't think. I mean, they were kind of big. But anyways, I bought an album. It was called um, Trout Mask Replica. And I listened to it, and I'm like, what the F is this shit? What is this? Um, I don't want to I don't want to shit all over it. It's just not my type of music that I enjoy. And I'm one of those people who's like, yeah, there's music that I don't like and music I like to shit on and whatnot. But in the end, music's subjective. And I really don't want to... Um, judge anyone for the type of music they want to listen to because I think music is that important and if someone likes a certain type of music more power to them that's a good thing and I listen to this I'm like how on earth do people love this how is this guy listed as everyone's favorite artist I don't get it and it kind of opened my eyes a bit into, into how different music can be and how different tastes can be so that some people can love this guy so much and me not understand it at all. And I don't know, I, I feel it was like a very important part of my, um, of, of me maturing when it comes to, to listening to music and understanding what's out there and it's okay for people to like different stuff than you, right? I don't know, that's my Captain Beefheart story. And I remember it to this day. I even remember what the wood page looks like and everything, looking at all the lists with Captain Beefheart on it. And it's like, I think a lot of people still don't know who he is, despite him having this really weird history. Anyways, or them. I don't know if Captain Beefheart is a person or a them. I think it's a them. Anyway. Oh, Hank Williams pretended to be a character called Luke the Drifter. Okay. Yeah, he did that. That's an album. Hank Williams? Really? Why would he do that? To say stuff he couldn't say as Hank Williams. Epiphany! Whoa. You okay? Yeah. I keep spacing out. Um. You coming to the show? I'll go to the show. Oh, well, thanks for keeping it short. I'm not going to the after party. Oh, okay. You don't like the Skiffle band? They're like Jimmy Page started in Skiffle. Yeah. Everyone loves Jimmy for his Skiffle. <laughs> exactly. You ever heard of a place called Lightman's? A place called Lightman's? Mm, no. You want me to check out back? Nah, got a feeling you won't find it. Thanks, Lucy. Um. Also, Lucy, is is that um is that a Beatles reference? Is everything in here like a a, a reference to music history in some way, shape, or form? 
I'm not judging that. I think that's fantastic if it is. Oh, this game's so pretty. My place. Childhood home of Johnson Vendetti. That's his home? What do you mean? It's a shrine and a tomb. <laughs> what do you mean that's his home? What? Imagine living there and this being like basically your front yard. Oh my god. Oh Honey, my god, that wallpaper. How was your day? Was everyone excited to see you before the show? Um, to be honest, Mom? Whoa, uh, I don't yeah. like Xbox. Okay, I gotta find a way to turn that crap off. That's an Xbox achievement that you heard. Um, I don't care about achievements. I'm really excited. Baccaro? Uh-huh. You don't seem yourself. That's gonna be the point, Mom, but it's gonna be the point. Don't seem myself i love the description of his house that it is a shrine and a tomb um i love it i've decided to create the most elaborate stage persona the world has ever seen <laughs> okay will you be down for dinner we're having enchiladas <gasps> yes mom i'll be down for enchiladas the boy you loved may already be gone <laughs> I'm so serious. It's on the refrigerator. I can't get away from it. Mom, stop this. That's my dad and my uncle. They were really close, Mom says. From the beginning until the end. No one asks me about my dad much. Aw, that's gotta suck. That's sad. Oh, a little bit of lag there. That was a little weird. And even the house is giving me Night in the Woods vibes. Why am I getting these lag spikes? What's going on? So weird. They don't even give you the option to flip the toilet paper around like that. That's ridiculous. Star scanner. Would people believe an alien could play music? Do I get to like forge a persona? Could that would be amazing. Accept intergalactic transmissions. Let me take, yeah. Wait, it won't let me choose. Do I, what's going on? That's weird. I don't know why it wouldn't let me use a keyboard to choose that when everything else in this game can be done I with a keyboard. Stage, not as myself, but as someone else entirely. I like what this game is pitching. I like it. All right, it's getting late. I should put it on a record and chill out. Cool, and I'll probably end the episode when this happens. away from the infinite on the far side of a thin film of atmosphere lies a tundra beyond the limits of human comprehension <laughs> the universe in all its grandeur its wonder and desolation waits mere miles away the stairway to the great cosmic symphony is at our feet i love it so he was born into a folk music history type thing, right? But perhaps that's not who he is. He's going to create this persona, perhaps like space rock opera. And he's going to find out that's not a persona at all. That's really who he is. I'm down.
All right, well, this this thing has many legs. Oh my god. What is even going on? Knocks the slate. I I love my pajamas. <laughs> See, look at it. Look at look at his bedroom. Right. We got a spaceship hanging from the ceiling. We got all that, that stuff on the the walls. We got the stuff over here. This dude love loves space. He loves sci-fi. He thinks he's supposed to be folk because of um, who hello? his uncle was, but he's not. Greeting. Excuse me. Let's go talk to the alien then. What do you mean? What in the... Good evening, little bee. A pleasant climate here, don't you think? Mild. Fragrant, almost. What? <gasps> what are you wearing? I am looking for Francis Vendetti. Uh, he's next door. You found him. Defensive. <laughs> you found him? I am the Hypnogogic Zom. Of course I you are. I appear tonight as a herald of doom and calamity. The support act on our tour is indisposed. What? A replacement is needed. And the captain asked for you by name. Oh my god, are you serious? Captain? What captain? He calls himself Lightman. Wait. Lightman? You're from Lightman's? Where is it? I it's supposed to be in Calypso, but I've lived here my whole life. There is no such place. It's not on Calypso. Stand extremely still. Oh my god, are we going to be taken to space when we become like a space rock star? What? Why? <laughs> How did you do that? Where are my pajamas? Does it adhere to your hideous humanoid arrangement? No, wait a second here. I was born this way. I'm in love with it. Why are you giving this to me? Oh no. I thought I was going to go into space, but I think I'm just going to use this to stay on Earth. Oh. Uh, is it some kind of alien disco? Um... Is Lightman some kind of alien disco? Hold out your hand, human. Oh my god, space guitar? Oh, a space guitar! Oh, did did I do that? Was that me? Oh, that was so good. You're tuning into another dimension. Don't stop now. Lightman is waiting on the other side. Hey, wait. What does that mean? How did you organize this? <laughs> that was so good. Oh, I hit shift so I could run, but I just shred instead.
too good. That's too good. Guess we can't shred on this thing. Elevators get screwed. Maybe the elevator wants to listen to music too. What do you mean? Um, is this the edge over here? I think. That's so cool. I'm here to shred. of imaginary countries. Oh my god, I love it. He's on his way. Excuse me, what? I got an achievement for lighting up every store on Calypso, by the way. Who's this? Oh my god, who is this? This is amazing! That's how you make an entrance, baby! <laughs> and don't let no one tell you otherwise. This him? <laughs> I'm afraid so. What do you mean, why you gotta put it like that? Uh, how, uh, how... how did you... I heard the word. You got the aura, baby. Uh, how? I'm no one. How? I'm no one. Got my ear close to the ground, kid. And you're making a lot of noise. Are you Lightman? Jammer of the Glamour Gun himself. Now, we ain't got much time. I'm about to star in a performance of Colossal Scope, and I don't go on without a support act. Never, ever. <laughs> this is the skinny. Tonight's opening slot has become available. Wait, you want me? I'm supposed to be a serious folk musician. Oh, baby, we'll have you back in time for breakfast. What? Uh, no, I've got my first show tomorrow. No, he means he's gonna eat you. I'm in the midst of an existential crisis. I can't just go running off into the night. The night? Baby, we're going way past the night. We're going on a ride across the dilated pupils of the cosmos. Man, you're gonna see flotsam that'll change you forever. Turn down. Forever. Tiffany? Let me give you the first lesson free. Oh, 
Oh no, game, don't make me play music for this real. This is the musical key. Is it though? Wait, what am I supposed to do? Oh, there it is. Play up music key, Q-E-W-A-D. Oh gosh. Q-E, all right, I see that this is where they said the controller is better, huh? All right, well, I'll, I'll try. I can't make any promises. Um, is it what, all of them? like a book job now repeat after me no i don't want to i did that i did the my notes but add your own timing your own rhythm okay i got this so cool uh, natural i am aren't i what do you think zom he'll be dead by dawn oh, what do you mean zom that's rude excellent you're hired baby okay follow me i will <laughs> this game what's going on hey there's Lightman's. Wait, this isn't here? This isn't a thing. It, it, this is an empty warehouse. Young blood, the stuff behind this door is gonna blow your mind. Okay. I'm ready, blow my mind. Okay, I, I think that's it. Um, I very much would like to continue this on the channel. Let me know if you want to see more yourself, but I, I don't know if I can. I'm a little nervous about the music and copyright and all that jazz. I'm gonna have to look into that and see what the deal is. It does make me nervous. I don't know if you're gonna see more. But there's a couple things I wanted to comment on um, before I, I go. I did mention a couple times that I thought this um, had some strong KRZ, Kentucky Route Zero and, and Night in the Woods vibes. The whole, um, those, those are kind of Rust Belt or Rust Belt Gothic, however you want to put it. Um, companies abandoning towns, people losing jobs, stores going under. Um, this is obviously Colorado. It's not Rust Belt, but but those themes are still, you know, they don't, they're not exclusive to the Rust Belt. And if, I, I kind of got that vibe here. Plus, you throw in some magical realism, you got these weird stores, right? You got a, a store that sells maps to countries that don't exist, things like that. Very strong Kentucky Route Zero vibes for me. Uh, I'd be shocked if Kentucky Route Zero was not a, an influence for this. Um, and I say that because, not just what I, I said previously, but because of another thing that I didn't mention when it happened because I wasn't quite sure, but I'm pretty confident now. In the very beginning, when he's doing his, his riffs, right? And he said, this one's for the miners or whatever. 
And you may think, oh, that was kind of weird. He did a, a riff about or, or for the miners, whatever. That may have been a nod also to Kentucky Rob Zero. And um, and if you haven't played or watched the game or whatever, I'll give you a, a, a lowdown on, on why that is. In the game, it doesn't happen in the game. It's more of a, a backstory. It's a prominent one in the game where um, small town in Kentucky, uh, there's a, a cave system and there's a mine in there. And a lot of people from this town worked at the mine. And at one point, there were 40 workers down there and the and the mine caved in and they all died. And again, that's that's a pretty big um, backstory to the game. The company that owned the mine made robots, androids, that were sent down there to clean out the mine so they can turn it into a profitable business again. So these robots would have to go down there and grab rock and bring it out and whatnot, clear out the mine so it can be done, so it can be worked again. Two of these robots are, are secondary characters to the game, um, Junebug and Johnny. So they're down there in the mine, grabbing rocks and pulling them out and whatnot, cleaning out the, the place so it can be used again. And they realize that this isn't who they are, right? They were they were perhaps made to be put down there, but they felt that's not who they are. Whoever made them screwed up. Something was wrong. And they left the mine, right? And they found who they were through music. They became musical artists. And they played gigs and whatnot. And they discovered who they really were, who they felt they were. They may have been born, so to speak, made to work mines or clean mines out, whatever. But they discovered who they really were and found their happiness. And it's a very strong theme in the game. It's a trans allegory. And I think that's where this game is going as well it doesn't have to be trans i guess you know you don't have to be who everybody thinks or says who you are you um you are who you want to be and i think that's exactly where this game is going right he was born to be the nephew of a famous folk musician everybody expected him oh that's so-and-so's nephew you know does he play folk as well and then Maybe it was forced upon him by his parents or whatever. Everybody expected him to play folk. And he's like, all right, I'll play folk. And he doesn't feel it. He's like, this isn't me, though. I'm doing it because everybody expects me to. That's who everyone says I am. But it's not me. And then he finds this space opera stuff. And that is who he is. I think that's what the theme is of this game. Um, that's pretty cool. So, again, let me know if you guys want to see more. I just don't know if I'm going to do it. Depends on the copyright problem, I think. Anyways, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Now you best believe He is grateful indeed For all the work that is marketed